Hello, I'm Chris, and this story is called Bones and Frank's Newspaper Mystery. Bones looked out sleepily from his kennel at 16 Greenacre Road. Mrs. Crisp was leaving for work, and she bent down to scratch Bones behind the ear as she passed. No newspaper yet, Lazy Bones? Oh, well, I'm sure it will be here when I get home. I'll see you later, she laughed, before hopping on a bicycle and pedalling off along the road. As soon as Mrs. Crisp had gone, Bones went inside his kennel and brought out a sign which read, Odd Job Dog. No job too big, no job too small. He was hanging this from a nail above his kennel door when he heard the front gate opening and saw Frank, the dog from next door, running towards him. Oh, Bones, I'm so glad you're here. I need your help. It's a complete mystery. It really is, he panted. Catch your breath, then tell me what's wrong, said Bones. Every day, I fetch the newspaper from the garden and take it into the house, began Frank. But a few days ago, it started to go missing. Each day, I hear the paper girl throw it over the front gate, and each day, I hear it land in the garden. But when I go to fetch it, it's not there. Usually, I can sniff out the paper anywhere in the garden. It's a complete mystery. This definitely sounds like a job for Odd Job Dog said Bones, who sat down to think. So you can hear the paper arrive, and normally you sniff it out in the garden. Hmm, I wonder, he muttered. Bones fetched his toolbox from his kennel and rummaged around until he had found a white card with letters on it, a pair of pliers, wire, two magnifying glasses, and some glue. Bones propped the card up against his kennel and asked Frank to try to read the letters on the card. Um, B, uh, O, oh, I think the next one is, um, Meh, said Frank. Ah, it's just as I thought, said Bones. Bones took the wire and started bending it with the pliers. Then he took the magnifying glasses and glued them into the wire. Soon he had finished. Try these on for size said Bones. A pair of glasses, shouted Frank. I can see everything so much better. I can even read your sign. B, O, N, E, S. Bones! These are great. But what about the newspaper? Come with me, said Bones. Bones and Frank hurried next door and waited. Sure enough, the paper girl arrived and threw the newspaper over the front gate. It flew up, 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 into the air and landed right on top of Henrietta, the tortoise, who was sitting in the middle of the lawn, munching on a nice juicy dandelion. She looked up and with the newspaper balanced on her shell, started to wander off in search of more juicy leaves in the flower beds. With his new glasses, Frank could now see exactly what was happening. He ran after Henrietta and got the paper before she disappeared. Mystery solved, laughed Frank. It was Henrietta all along. Thanks, Bones. With my new glasses, the paper will never go missing again. All in a day's work for odd job dog, replied Bones. Now I must hurry. There's somewhere I should be. Bones ran home, tidied his toolbox, took down his sign and put them both back inside his kennel. He was just in time. Mrs. Crisp was pushing her bicycle through the front gate. She picked up a newspaper from the garden path. Hello, Bones. Busy day again, she laughed, patting him on the head. I do wish the paper girl would put the paper through the letterbox, she sighed. Bones just looked up at her and wagged his tail. Then he closed his eyes and went to sleep. And that was the story of Bones and Frank's newspaper mystery. Good night.